Hey, how's everyone doing? You guys okay? So I have an option, I have a plan. It's in here, I'm gonna try to tell you about it. On your Google device, you'll see there's an option to go to your apps in the waffle and click on Google Hangouts. It's a green app. This is an option to chat with people. You can even do video chats with people. Now, I'm not sure if it's gonna work yet, but I'm gonna create a group with all of us in it. So if you get a little pop-up screen on the bottom right corner of your Google Classroom or your Gmail, that's a group chat that we're gonna start to do. You don't have to do it all the time, but it's there available. You can send something out and all of us are gonna see it. Now if we do that, it has to be school appropriate. The airport community schools already said that they are going to heavily monitor this chat room. So do not do anything on there that is a bad idea. Don't say anything that's bad. Don't swear on it. They're going to monitor it, and it's our classroom, so you can't screw that up. So I'm going to try to show you a screen of me going on to Google Hangouts, and I'm going to click some buttons, and you're going to watch me do it. Now, the fun thing about this is you can download this app on your phone, and you can quickly chat on your phone. When you get on that for the first time, I want you to just reach out to everyone and say how you're doing, okay? All right, so I'm going to open a new tab. Let me see if I can do this. New tab. Click on the waffle. And I'm going to go down. And I'm going to find Hangouts. There it is, like that. Click on it. I already started a chat once just to test it out. And I need it to work right now. There we go. So this is a test chat, but if you want to start a new conversation, you click right here and you enter the name of the person or their email address. If you want to talk with just one person only, not the whole group. Well, look what I sent you earlier. Everyone's email address is on there. So all you have to do is type in their email address. Boom. You could then have a conversation with them. Okay, here's a phone. If you download this app, Hangouts, click it. So here's Mr. D's class. I sent everyone a message. It says, hello everyone. Can you read this? So go ahead, click on that, and then type. Remember, this is a way to communicate easily on your phone. Try that now. Okay, let's take a look. Let's open a new tab. I want to try something. I want you guys to do this so you know where it's at. I want you to click on Gmail. Go ahead, do that now. Wait till it loads. It took a minute to load, but I want you to look down in this corner. All right, right here, Mr. D's class. Click it. When you do that, it pops up over here. I sent a picture of my cat to everyone yesterday. That was a test. For example, how are you? We are enjoying the sunshine. That's Mrs. D. That's good. Thanks, Matt, for responding. Matt, I'm happy to hear you are good. Here is a picture of my cat. Send me a fun picture if you can. Here you go, guys. This is your job today. Get on this Google Hangouts. And I want you to send and type something. If you don't know how to type, look at this. Right here. Click it. All right, it says, Google wants to allow voice typing. Yes. Let's try it again. Here we go. Hello, everyone. How are you today? Oh, that's wonderful. Technology. Let's do something new. Hello, everyone. Comma. Can you please send me a picture of a cat or dog that you have at home? Question mark. Does everyone have a cat or dog at home? Hang on. Open a new tab. I will go to Google. I will type in Raz Kids. R A Z. Oh, there it is. Raz Kids. 
on Raz Kids. And it might look like this. I'm gonna click over here where it says Kids Log In. Oops, right there. Do that. It says your teacher's username. Well, good news. I have all of these attached to your folders. It's the same for everyone. You'll see it's a denardis zero and the password will be wagger. So let's go ahead and type that now. And, all right, click go. Everyone's name is in here already. So all you have to do is pick your name. Uh, I even have my son's name in here. He's doing books too. All right, click your name. Your password's wagger. W-A-G-A-R. Enter. And now, in this program, you used to do this back in the beginning of the school year. We stopped doing it because we ended up printing out actual paper books instead. And we have been doing them as a group. Since we can't do them at a group anymore, you have to go back to doing this. So you go back to your level up. I want you to pick a book, any one that you want. For example, Breeds of Dogs. Perfect. We're going to listen to Breeds of Dogs first. Click play. Breeds of Dogs, written by Kathy Lester. All right, and you're going to listen to the whole book. Did you ever notice how many different kinds of dogs there are? There are big dogs. No. Now, your reading level may have improved since the last time we've done this. So if you do a couple of books and you're like, this is too easy, Mr. D, I can improve your reading level. I can raise it up and I will do that. So I'm going to check on that and see how it's going and talk to me through this Google Hangouts. It might be easier to do that. If I don't respond right away, that's okay. I will eventually get back to you. When you're done, you'll see that you finished listening to it. You can read it on your own and then there's a quiz. So go ahead and click the quiz and take the quiz. Which of the following is an example of a herding dog? A Newfoundland, a Bloodhound, a Border Collie, or a hairless Chinese Chestered, Crustered. So if I was paying attention, I should know the answer. So let me try to think about my comprehension skills. A herding dog, I'm thinking it's a Collie, so I will click it. I might be wrong, but we'll find out. All right, where's the next page? Oh, here it is. So go ahead and do two books today if you are all caught up on everything. Some of you have not logged into anything yet. Most of you have. Good job. You don't want to get too far behind, so keep doing work every day. For those of you who haven't caught up and who haven't logged in at all, I am reaching out to your parents, and I will be telling them what I expect. Okay, so if you have any questions, reach out to me. You know how to find me. And also, there's a subscribe button. It's just easier if you just know when the video pops up. It's just subscribe. It's just easy. Bye.